Welcome to Trezzo. This lesson is about how to play jazz guitar for rockers. We'll use the jazz standard Autumn Leaves as a test subject to learn some of the sexiest chords on the planet. Why can't it be spring leaves, or summer leaves, or winter leaves? Wait, there are no leaves in winter. <laughs> what an idiot! In order to create a jazz sound, we'll need to use seventh chords. How awfully terrifying. A regular chord contains three notes. We arrive at these three notes by selecting every other note of the major scale. A seventh chord just adds one extra note on top for a total of four notes. This creates that iconic jazz sound we all know and love. That doesn't sound right. Now that's the ticket. By modifying basic bar chord shapes, we can emulate the jazz sound. Those look really hard. So grab your axe and let's jump on some jazz, son. How to play jazz for rockers. So let's have a look at Autumn Leaves, the most popular jazz standard of all time. Autumn Leaves contains seven chords that will get you through pretty much any jazz tune. Seven chords, Lord have mercy. So here's the progression. Okay, lesson over. Hope you learned a lot. See you next time. But I didn't catch all that. Now let's have a look at these seven chords one at a time. Chord number one is A minor seven. What you're going to do is bar with your index finger on the fifth fret of the low E string, and then the fifth fret of the D string, fifth fret of the G string, and fifth fret of the B string. Now you'll notice I'm using my fingers here, plucking with the thumb, index, middle, and ring fingers, skipping the A string. This gives a little bit more appropriate darker jazz tone and also helps with control when skipping strings. Feel free to use a pick though, but seriously you shouldn't. But go right ahead. Now which is it, Shredmaster? So the next chord is D7. What you're gonna do is take your index finger and bar the A through the B strings. And then you're gonna take your ring finger, put it on seven of D, and your pinky finger goes on seven of B. The dominant seventh chord is one of the most useful and versatile chords, used for modulating, creating a sense of tension, and just general sex. Next chord is G major seven, and what we're gonna do is put your index finger on the third fret of the low E string, ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, then the pinky goes on the fourth fret of the G string, and finally, middle finger on third fret of the B string. With the right hand, I'm using my thumb on the low E string, index on D, middle on G, and ring on the B string. A major seventh chord differs from a dominant seventh chord in that it has a major seventh degree from the root to the seventh degree. A dominant seventh chord has a minor seventh interval from the root to the seventh degree. <laughs> Moving on to the next chord, we have C major seven. Now for this chord, you're gonna have your index finger on the third fret of the A string, your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string, your middle finger on the fourth fret of G, and then pinky on fifth of B. It's a miracle. Next, we have the beautiful, creepy, and haunting minor seven flat five chord. For this chord, you're gonna to go to the A string and the frets are gonna be 9, 10, 9, 10. A, 9, D, 10, G, 9, B, 10. So fancy. Down to the last two chords, we've got B7, and finally, we resolve it to E minor seven. 
So there you have it, the iconic Autumn Leaves, a launch pad to further jazz guitar exploits. Let me know what you think of jazz, if you like these chords, or if you think they suck. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the lesson. Let me know who your favorite jazz guitarists are in the comments below. Also, try using some of these voicings in rock and metal. They set you apart and give you an air of sophistication. Soon you'll be looking back at those dumbass rockers in disdain, said the jazz guitarist. Don't let those guys look down on you. Remember, the rock guys get all the chicks. That's a wrap for this lesson. You can stay up to date with the Shred Zone by following me on social media. Type in Shredmaster Scott to YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Until next time. Shred till you're dead. <laughs>